Hi, my name is Naomi. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a HIIT workout for you combining cardio and strength. I'm going to be using a resistant tube, specifically the kind with the two handles. I love this brand. It's called the Ripcord and it's from a Vancouver company called the Human Trainer. Really good quality. There's a warranty to it. Often when you cheap out on these things, they just break within a month. So I'll link the website below. If you're not jumping today, I've got modifications for you. We'll start with a warm up. I'm using a light to medium resistant cord, which is equal to about 14 to 20 pounds. Stepping your right leg back, you're going to be twisting towards the left and we're going to stay on this one side. Focus on keeping your hips square to the front, activating through your core and twisting just from the belly and the chest. Head is last to turn. Root down through your tailbone to maintain neutral spine. Bend into your back knee a little bit to, to help you find that tuck of the tail. Connecting into your breath. Wrists are straight. And in our lunges, we want to be mindful that our front knee is not falling inward. We want to activate through the side of the glute on that front leg and keep the knee in alignment with the center foot. As you stand tall on the front leg, push down through the center heel and squeeze through your glute. Remember to breathe. Next, we're coming into another lunge. We'll be stepping back through our right foot. And the arms are going to go up overhead, activating through the upper back, cactusing the arms. Start to tuck the tailbone under, open up through your chest, squeeze the upper back. And I can see here that I'm arching my lower back a little bit. So I recommend for you to brace your core a little more than I am. Anchor through your tailbone. Continue to square your pelvis, so your front leg, that hip is drawing back, and the back hip is squaring forward. Relax your face. Take a forward fold in between sides. Try and go a little bit deeper. Squeeze through your glutes. Scissor in through your inner thighs. Making your way into a squat pull. Set your feet shoulder width with a slight turnout. As you pull on the band, as you stand, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Sit your hips back as if you're literally sitting in a chair. At the bottom of the squat, make sure that your knees are pressing out and your chest is lifted. 
What's so great about working with resistant bands is that if you want to make the exercise harder, you just walk your hands closer together to create more resistance. And if you want bonus extra challenge and you have two bands, you could double them up. We'll be making our way through 10 different exercises combining cardio and strength, and we'll be doing this circuit two times. If you're not jumping, watch for my low impact modifications in the top right corner. In case you're wondering how I got so sweaty so quickly, I had technical difficulties filming this video and this is the third time through the circuit for me. So let's go. Rotate your hip open externally, flex your foot. Don't worry so much about touching your heel as it will depend on your hip flexibility. Keep your chest lifted and your core pulled in. The band will be on the outside of your arms for this exercise. Start with your elbows wide, engaging through your upper back. Keep your chest lifted at the bottom of the squat. Breathe out to press up, keeping your wrists straight. Hips are in a slight external rotation, allowing you to get deeper into your squat. Squeeze through your glutes as you stand. Pull your belly button in. Think of this as a core exercise. Turn your hips to parallel for this one and make sure as you sit back in the squat, your palms are facing up. Initiate your pull by squeezing your shoulder blades together and down your back, breathing out. As you sit back into your squat, turn the palms up so you're sculpting your biceps. Keep your chin in, your eyes down and forward. Keep pressing down through your feet as you pull up to activate through your core and squeeze your glutes to stand. Keep your shoulders down and back. To make this more challenging, your arms are higher. At the end of the movement, keep a slight bend in your elbow to challenge yourself.
Have fun with this one. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. Use your upper body. On the high knees back, let's get those knees up. Focus on squeezing your inner thighs together. Sit down in that squat. Place the band under your right foot and make sure that the band is behind your shoulder to set up. Feet are staggered slightly, spine is straight. Draw your chin in and as you extend from the elbow, keep your wrist straight, squeezing the back of the arm. To initiate this movement, make sure your shoulders are back and down. Push down through your feet, breathe out. Keep the arms as straight as possible.
You did it. Awesome work. Time for a stretch. We'll begin with a quad stretch, reaching back, holding either the top of your foot or your ankle. Curl your tailbone under, pull your low belly in, and squeeze your glute. Switching sides. Deep breaths, relaxing your face. Next, we'll come into a tricep stretch, reaching up through your left arm, grounding through your feet, root down through the left foot, and reach up and over to go to the right, stretching through your side. Switching sides. Interlacing your fingers, you're going to reach your palms forward and flex your spine, drawing your chin in. Reach up. Let's reverse this now. Clasp your hands behind your back. Arch your back. Lift your chest. Fold forward. Reaching your arms overhead. Bend the knees enough so your tummy's on your thighs. Breathe. Release your arms. Circle your arms all the way up. Let's repeat this. Again, interlace your fingers. Pull in through your core, reach tall, clasp your hands behind you, lift your chest, and bow forward. Release your arms now and hold here for a couple breaths, loosening up any tension. And now slowly rolling up. We did it. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. Watch the video all the way through. Give it a thumbs up and share with friends.